Hello friends, the topic of this video is venous drainage of heart. This is an important topic from the thoracic region and in exams often a short note is asked on venous drainage of heart or you get a long question on blood supply of heart. In that case, you have to mention both the arterial supply as well as the venous drainage of heart. You can also be asked to enumerate the tributaries of the main vein which drains the heart that is coronary sinus and the veins that open into right atrium. Venous blood from the heart is drained by three systems of veins and these are the main vein or the venous channel is coronary sinus and its tributaries. The second kind of veins that we have draining the heart they are known as anterior cardiac veins. And the third, the smallest of all, these are known as venae cordis minimi or Thebasian veins. Let us start with the coronary sinus and its tributaries. In this diagram, we can see here, this is the posterior surface or the base of the heart. And we can see this is made up by the left and the right atrial chambers. This is the diaphragmatic or the inferior surface of the heart and the two ventricles that is left and right ventricles contribute to this surface. Between the atrial chambers and the ventricles, we have a groove here. This groove is known as atrioventricular sulcus or coronary sulcus. And this is the posterior part of the coronary sulcus. The anterior part of the coronary sulcus is present on the sternocostal surface. Now here, this posterior part of the coronary sulcus, that can be also divided into two parts. Between the left atrium and the left ventricle, this will be known as left posterior part of coronary sulcus. And the part of the sulcus between the right atria and the right ventricle, this is known as right posterior part of coronary sulcus. Now coming back to coronary sinus, coronary sinus is the main venous channel which drains most of the venous blood from the heart. Let us see where exactly it is located and what is its size. So this is a short and wide venous channel approximately 1 inch or 2.5 centimeter in length and where does it lie? It lies in the left posterior part of coronary sulcus which we have already seen, right? So left posterior part of coronary sulcus. What is the length of this? 2.5 centimeter long. Now where does it open? It opens into the right atrium. So this is the right atrium. So it opens into the right atrium. Where exactly it opens? Between the openings of inferior vena cava and right atrioventricular orifice. So we can see here this will be the opening of or this is the opening of inferior vena cava. And here will, we will have the right atrioventricular orifice between the right atrium and the right ventricle. From this aspect, let us see the main tributaries of the coronary sinus also. So you can see here there are three main tributaries and these are on the left side you can see the great cardiac vein is there and here on the right side you can see the small cardiac vein and towards the right only you can see another vein entering into the coronary sinus that is middle cardiac veins. So small cardiac vein and middle cardiac vein they enter uh, towards the end of the coronary sinus towards which end the right end of the coronary sinus whereas the great cardiac vein that is present on the left side in fact you can say that coronary sinus is continuation of the great cardiac vein coming to tributaries of coronary sinus we have already seen the three major tributaries of coronary sinus in this diagram we can see here this is the right atrium here we have the right ventricle this will be the left ventricle and the left atrium we can see the opening of this big venous channel here into the right atrium this is coronary sinus let us look at the tributaries one by one to begin with the first or and the largest in fact tributary is the great cardiac vein that's why the name right so here we can see this is the great cardiac vein it begins near the apex of the heart ascends up in the anterior interventricular sulcus right between the right and the left ventricle here so it will ascend up here and is going to wind around the left border 
of the heart and then it will continue as coronary sinus or you can say it joins the left end of the coronary sinus this great cardiac vein it accompanies an artery which artery it accompanies the anterior interventricular artery which is a branch of left coronary artery the artery is also known as left anterior descending artery now let us look at the next tributary here the next tributary will be you can see here this is middle cardiac vein right so this is present on the posterior aspect that's why you can see the color is dull it is not that bright so middle cardiac vein where exactly it is located this is located in the posterior interventricular sulcus and obviously it will be accompanied by which artery posterior interventricular artery which is a branch of right coronary artery most of the times which is also known as posterior descending artery now this is going to join the right end of the coronary sulcus let us look at the third major tributary or the main tributary of the coronary sinus so this is the small cardiac vein so we can see here this is small cardiac vein and where exactly it is located but before that let us see here it actually begins as right marginal vein so this right marginal vein this will be running just above the inferior border of the heart and this is going to curve around the right border and join the small cardiac vein or you can see it continues as the small cardiac vein the small cardiac vein will be running in the right posterior part of coronary sulcus and this will also join the right end of the coronary sinus sometimes the right marginal vein directly opens into right atrium so this is the third one so small cardiac vein begins at inferior border as right marginal vein along the inferior border lies along the right posterior coronary sulcus and drains at the right end of the coronary sinus now we have two or sometimes three uh, more tributaries of the coronary sinus let us look at them also so you can see here there is a small vein this is known as oblique vein of left atrium or oblique vein of marshall this uh, descends down on the posterior surface of the left atrium and this will also join the left side of the coronary sinus then there is another one which is running here again you can see on the posterior aspect of the left ventricle that is diaphragmatic surface of left ventricle this is known as posterior vein of left ventricle and this runs parallel to the middle cardiac vein so this will be joining here just left to the uh, joining of middle cardiac vein right so this also drains into coronary sinus sometimes there is another vein which i have not shown here that is known as left marginal vein so left marginal vein will be present here which will be also draining into coronary sinus at its left end so these are three other veins so three main tributaries are the great cardiac vein middle cardiac vein and the small cardiac vein and the smaller ones you can see here the oblique vein of the left atrium posterior vein of left ventricle and sometimes there is another one known as left marginal vein so these are tributaries of coronary sinus let us look at the anterior cardiac veins now so where exactly these anterior cardiac veins are present you can see here uh, these are actually going to drain here the right ventricle anterior aspect of right ventricle so sometimes two or three and sometimes even four might be there and they directly open into the right atrium but not in its smooth part in the rough part they open in the anterior wall of the right atrium all other veins which open into the right atrium they open into the smooth part of the right atrium this is the difference anterior cardiac veins they will open into the anterior rough part of the right atrium and what do they drain they drain the anterior aspect of the right ventricle then we have the third set of veins which are known as venae cordis minimi as the name suggests these are extremely small veins which you can see their openings are here so these are very small veins and they are present in each chamber of the heart so they will drain the myocardium and the endocardium of each uh, chamber of the heart 
and they are but most numerous in the right atrium so this is also a view of the right atrium where you can see opening of superior vena cava inferior vena cava opening of coronary sinus and the small two veins which you see here these are the openings of venae cordis minime so they drain venous blood from the endocardium and deep part of the myocardium that will be drained by venae cordis minime in each chamber and they open directly into the respective chamber of the heart as i told you earlier and which chamber has got maximum number of venae cordis minime it is the right atrium which has got maximum number of venae cordis minime let us see the mcqs that can be asked from this topic first you can see here which vein is not a tributary of coronary sinus so you have these four options great cardiac vein yes that is a tributary anterior cardiac vein is it a tributary no anterior cardiac veins they directly open into right atrium so this is the correct option and obviously middle and small cardiac veins these are the tributaries of coronary sinus so the answer is b anterior cardiac vein instead of anterior cardiac queen you may have the option as venae cordis minime because they also do not open into the coronary sinus they are also not tributaries of coronary sinus let us look at another mcq which vein does not open in right atrium so here if you look at this great cardiac vein does it open into the right atrium no it is a tributary of coronary sinus which in fact opens into the right atrium so i think this is the correct choice right answer to this question anterior cardiac veins they do open in the right atrium coronary sinus also opens into the right atrium venae cordis minime they open in each chamber so obviously they will also open into the right atrium so here the correct option will be a that is great cardiac vein So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe my channel so that I can put more such videos. And if you want uh, the questions and answers in anatomy, all types of that, then visit the website that is anatomyqa.com. Thanks once again.